Hello, everyone. Uh, it's a great event to uh, what Camp Albuquerque uh, organizes. Uh, great. We had a great time yesterday in speaker's dinner party and after the speaker dinner party. Uh, it's a good networking place. Uh, today, I'll be sharing my story about building a, a theme business, how I built it, how I land up into the WordPress uh, market, and how the community helped me throughout the process. So that's, that's, that's the thing that I'll be sharing with you today. Uh, so my name is Sakin Rastas, and I'm tech entrepreneur. I have I come all the way from Kathmandu, Nepal. So I'm here for for about a month. Uh, just will be traveling around the states, and I'm also with my family because it's a long distance uh, travel. So I thought like I could bring my family together, so we'll have a good time vacation. Up. So it's a warm, uh, it's a nice year. Um, and uh, as I told you, as already been told, I'm also the one of the founding member of WordPress Nepal community. And we have been organizing WordCamp since uh, 2012. Uh, it's been a good WordCamp and we had, uh, we, uh, another WordCamp is coming in 2018 in March. Uh, if anybody would like to join, uh, it would be great. Uh, as for my company, is, um, um, there are more companies. These are the technical companies that I'm uh, currently involved in. Uh, I've also invested in companies uh, outside the technicals. Uh, initially, I started with the uh, catch internet, um, just like um, a normal outsourcing person. Like um, when, when we are in the Nepal, we try to get clients from like abroad, US, Australia, and all those things, bid, bid in the marketplace like um, Odex, but now it's Upwork. So that is the uh, time I uh, established uh, catch internet, but it changed over the time. Then after that, um, I founded a Catch Themes, uh, which is uh, one of the leading uh, themes and plugin uh, uh, development company. We have themes in um, various places, WordPress.com, uh, Theme Forest, and in our own site too. And, and that's all because of the community. And um, there's a good story about the theme review.co. I mean, like, I was not involved uh, when it founded. One of good friends like Emil and Justin Tadlock, uh, they founded uh, this company, uh, ThemeReview.co. This is a very special uh, community-based uh, uh, company which does review for the themes that you have developed for uh, WordPress.org or if you want to develop it for uh, WordPress.com or ThemeForest. We check for the guidelines, check for the quality of themes. Uh, we review it in details and uh, give you the chances to make or improvement to, to your development process. Uh, but because of while attending WordCamp San Francisco, I had a good friend, Emil, and he asked me, like, would you like to join? And then I bought over his shares to become the uh, co-owner of Theme Reviews. As that's why, again, I love WordCamp because I get to get new businesses, new partners, and new, um, new networking every time. That's really uh, interests me out. And Theme Palace, uh, in Nepal, if you, if you know or not, we have a problem of payment gateway. We don't have a payment gateway like PayPal is not there, Stripe is not there. So how, how are we going to sell our themes or plugin if we build? There's no other way than to sell in the marketplace. And to enter the marketplace like ThemeForest or, or WordPress.com, it's really, really difficult for the uh, starting up uh, developers. So I thought, like, why don't I create something uh, which can facilitate them and which can uh, which they can use it just developing and then I can just market and sell for them. So I established uh, Theme Palace last year only. So it's in the, uh, the beginning stage right now but it's doing really good. And we have, um, I, I love blogging and then we started with uh, Nepal Boss and Debord Press uh, quite in a blogging style but now we have writers writing uh, for it. So let me go back to uh, my background. Um, actually, I'm not the technical person from the start. I'm like a management student. I did my MBA from Singapore. Um, uh, as soon as I did my MBA, there was like my mind playing around, what should I do next? Shall I work in this fine country? It's so beautiful, it's so clean and nice. Everything here is so systematic. I want to work, I think. And I, I even tried to like look for a job and as I even interviewed many jobs and I was called. But then in my mind, I thought of like, what, what, what do I do if I just work here? What happens if I return back? 
And the returning back choices was the very difficult because you are already used to with all those fine things, all those uh, equipments and the development things. You have to go back from the uh, first country to the third world country, so you have to go back to your own country. But it's a beautiful country. So I had a hard decision, and that, for that decision, it took me like three to six months just to decide, do I want to go back? Really, do I want to go back? And then, but then uh, I think and think and think, um, uh, then as I had to go back, uh, I thought about like, okay, well, I want to do something good. Then what next? I was like, I was like, in my country, I don't know what to do because like, I always love um, technology. I started uh, learning computer uh, from the grade eight. So uh, I had a passion about computer and uh, after passing my grade 10, I even uh, took like crash courses of web development like HTML, CSS. I know a little bit about PHP and JavaScript. So I, I'm management background, I know a little bit about technology, but then I thought like, okay, what, what if I do a new startup companies? But I didn't have any investment or I didn't have money to start. My parents didn't allow me to invest money in Nepal, so like I had nothing to do. And, and the bad thing again about the Nepal for the startup is like, we don't get bank loan just by your credit history. You need to have a collateral for a bank loan. Or you cannot just ask people for money. There's not no way. So I have no money to start my own business. Then I had no other option to join a company. So I joined uh, one of the IT company as a human resource manager because I have the degree of M MBA as a human resource. So I joined that. Then I saw lots of problem, technical problem in that company is because that company was good in design, but while in development part, they try to do all the things that client says. Like if they want to do in Joomla, let's do it in Kick PHP, Kick PHP, normal PHP framework, normal PHP framework. Okay, JavaScript. <laughs> like they didn't have defined set like we are specialized in this segment. So, so I think that is the difficult part back in 2007 because um, we were not uh, considered as a main outsourcing hub as well. So whatever we get, we try to snatch and they're like, okay, well, let's do this program, let's learn. So learning and coding, learning and coding, it was really difficult. So the finding, um, so I, I found it people not being productive. Then I tried to find for solutions and I searched in the internet, I tried different platform, uh, different platform like Joomla, uh, WordPress, Drupal and all those things. Then I finally found WordPress and then I found it so easy to use at a time I suddenly fell in love with that. And then, wow, that's a great thing, shall I use it? Then over the weekend, I just turned my company website into the WordPress. So converted normal PHP website into the dynamic WordPress site. So that opened the eyes of all the company's members and we start doing it good in WordPress. Um, but, uh, but soon after that, even I always ha wanted to do a startup, and then soon after that, uh, I, I resigned from that company because they don't want to go on product sections. We did a great job in Odex. We, 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 we did 10, 000, more, more than 10,000 hours in Odex, but it was a great achievement at the time. So I went uh, to establish my own company, Catch Internet, and then I, I, did, I earned a little, quite a bit of money, and then I traveled to what, what came Melbourne. Uh, not exactly for WordCamp Melbourne, for a vacation, but then there was WordCamp Melbourne. I was like, wow, I'm gonna attend that. I didn't know about WordCamp at that time. I thought every Word, WordCamp is a bigger WordCamp. I was like, whoa, that's gonna be big. I'm gonna there, go there and learn all the things. Uh, and and when, when I see people and I see the, them being very friendly, they tell me everything like, okay, you are from Nepal, I'm gonna see what you have done. And they ask me like questions, do you have WordPress theme in WordPress.org? I said, no. Do you have WordPress plugin in WordPress.org? I said, no. I'm like, oh shit, I haven't done anything in WordPress. I just build site for my clients. And do you have like uh, any, any enterprise? At the time, the theme plugin were like very booming in 2011. Everybody wants like themes plugin, themes plugin. And somebody, like, what's that? I was like, what should I do? I should learn. And uh, Dan and Jason was very good and they did they taught me a lot of things. Um, then I thought like, okay, wow, I already earn up quite a bit of money so I can go back. Let's give back to the WordPress. Because I saw so good community in Melbourne. I thought that why can't we have those things in Nepal and start creating. 
start doing good things. So I talk with the WordPress community member all around. I uh, chat with the people from uh, different places and talk about it. I network with the people in Nepal who has done at least PHP or at least done something. Uh, and, and then we, uh, we formed WordPress Nepal uh, along with my friend uh, uh, Chandra and Ujo. Uh, they are a very good friend of mine and we once used to work together as well. So we formed the WordPress Nepal, just thinking that we will also have WordCamp Nepal. We also want to do WordCamp Nepal. And we just had that dream for the first year. We had nothing in our mind. We want to grow WordPress, but that was really difficult because we were only three people. And then when we called for Meetup, there were only five people. Like, five people, how are we gonna do WordCamp? But we didn't uh, let it go. We tried, tried, tried. And we did our first WordCamp successfully with uh, 150 people at least. Uh, that was a great thing. And now we have more than uh, 350 people in WordCamp in Kathmandu itself, and they are growing in other cities. So that, that, that was achievement for me. Then I said, okay, why don't I submit theme to the WordPress.org? Because that's also, again, contribution. So what happens is, like again, a community is so great. I was just developing my own blog Messing around with the default theme, 2011 theme. So I was just like messing around, messing around, and then I created my own site, uh, which is still still the same site I'm running right now in my sockinsvestor.com, uh, because I don't I don't I don't want to ch change it. I fell in love with that, and I'm still continuing with that. Maybe I'll change it in the future. Uh, then I submitted in WordPress.org. What happens is like. There was immense number of feedback. There was like user liking it. In the first day itself, it has crossed the 500 downloads. It went to the 1,000 downloads. It was uh, becoming the top 10 uh, WordPress free themes in .org. I was like, oh my God, what did, I, what did I do? I just messed around with the code. I did nothing, you know? I just tweaked around, touched around, changed the CSS, added sliders, all those things, color options, and I just did that, and, and everything changed. Then I thought, okay, why don't I go a different approach? This time, I will just build everything from scratch because I'm client background. Client asked me to do everything from scratch, so I just designed I did HTML, CSS, and converted that to the WordPress. It would take me a lot of time to build simple catch. And then, like, submitted in WordPress.org, I had to face lots of complaints like, oh, this is not good, this is not right the way to do it. The theme reviewers were really good. They teach me like, okay, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. You have to use the core function. You have to use the proper validation. You have to use the proper. So, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm there. I got rejected like almost two times, I think, at the time. And then, okay, wow, that's great. And that led me to join theme review team to learn more about theme. And then I became one of the uh, key reviewer admins in the WordPress.org theme review team. I was like, wow, now I'm the admins of the theme review team. <laughs> Uh, last year only I stepped down from the key reviewer because I got too busy with all the things. So these are the approaches that you can use. And after all, I even use approaches like building from um, starter theme like underscore, which is very great uh, development by automatic teams. Um, and it's great. So what happens? Free users demanded more features, like they were saying. And then I was giving it for free, like, okay, get it. Next version of that, get it. And they were ready to pay. And I said, I don't have them payment system. Do you have donate button? I don't have a donate button. I don't have a PayPal. <laughs> How do I get donate button? And, I, uh, and then I called my sister. Can, can, can you give me your PayPal account? I want to add a donate button, you know? Because my sister was studying here in state. So she said, OK, sure, I'll give you my PayPal. And I just add my PayPal and then add a donate button. And still now, there's one person who sent me $1.10 every month as a donation from 2011 till that. I was like, wow, that's, that's a good donation. Like, I'm getting every day donation for like, submitting my first theme. Uh, and that's what like, it made me so uh, fantastic. It made me so happy. That's the best time of my life I had throughout my, uh, I think I, it's the best time of my life throughout the life I have uh, in development time. So it leads to the foundation of uh, WordPress themes. So I, this is the first site because I just, Everybody wants a site. Everybody wants don't need one. I just created like HTML CSS. <laughs> done. <laughs> and then, okay, then they demanded more. Then I come up with the next design, which has uh, yeah, e commerce integrations. 
And uh, we used WooCommerce at the time, and, and it was good software uh, to use for selling. I didn't know it had a problem of scaling at the time. So I just, I just, I just use it. Because we're just using it. WooCommerce was also in initial stage. We were also in initial stage. So we try to sell. We try to do it more and more. Then we became a clean uh, theme development company, um, selling lots of things. We have now more than 100 things. Um, and, uh, and what happened here also, like, well, I would like to tell you one story about, again, about the community and the WordPress. While, while developing this site, we are having a scaling issues. Uh, we're uh, increasing the clients. We're having a scaling issues with WooCommerce subscription because we're using WooCommerce subscription. And I was like uh, asking my host to fix it. Like they were not able to fix it. What's the issue? Is you you're always getting timeouts and all those things? I was like, oh shit, what should I do? I tried to search because I was just using so many plugins. I couldn't even um, fix that. So in the WordCamp US, I met Brent from WooCommerce subscription. So he said, I had this problem from your plugin. He's like, I had this error log message. I said, oh, I know this, I know this. I can fix it for you. This is my plugin problem, sorry for that. And I said like, okay, that's great. He's gonna fix it and he's gonna, he, he fixed it in, within a minute. Uh, we just writing one on another plugin. He gave me like, okay, this, uh, this you install that. And I, I will fix it for the new version of this. I was like, wow. That's how you connect with the people and that's how you run the business. It's like, wow, that's great. And now going back to the main topic, ways to start a, a theme business. Um, uh, I think that's why I found two ways to start a theme business, basically. You can go on management way or you can go on what this totally a community way, right? As you already know, management way is more practical. It's more business plan. We have capital in it. We have investment. We, have, uh, we are well prepared, more structures. We have growth plan, how you're going to scale. How, how, what are the uh, um, hosting we're going to use? Everything is there. So we have less chances of failure. But I didn't choose that because I didn't have all those facilities in my mind. So I choose the WordPress community way because it was easy to start, simply because it's easy to start, because everybody showed me how to do it. So I just submitted a theme in .org. I got traffic from .org. I didn't do SEO. I didn't do anything at all, just plain coding, submitting. Just coming back. Wow, that's great. No marketing, no Facebook, no Twitters, and anything. So it was easy to start just coding, coding, because I love coding, so I just scored that way. So that thing is like hobby turned into business initiative, which is always great because you love what you are doing. That's always great to do it, fun way to learn. But there's always problem of growing. Uh, I told you when, I, when our business grew, it was difficult for us to scale, difficult for us to hire more and more people, and the problem goes again on and on and on. You're getting success, but you're not happy with it because like, you're having everyday problem. You have to support, you have to track your servers, you have to do everything. That again, uh, the solutions in the community way is again, you just find out a way. Talk in the Slack. Nowadays, we have a Slack. That's, that's very good. You can just Slack the person you know it. And do you have the same issue like me? Did you face that? And they will just share. And WordPress community is great. So I think, um, I think you guys also should network with the um, people that you need instantly. And also network with the people that you might need. You don't know. So just, just get yourself reach out. And then you can say, like, OK, I met you at WordCamp Albuquerque. Can you help me with this? Yeah, I have this problem. So it's fun way, and uh, it's a great way to learn. Uh, but uh, in 2017, the market were, uh, of the theme market got really saturated. There were lots of lots of theme companies growing in, and we had to face lots of competitions. And we thought of uh, diversify ourselves into different marketplace. So what what we tried to do is we tried to go to the WordPress.com, which like, uh, which is self-hosted um, uh, WordPress um, run by Automatic. So I thought like that would be a great platform because if, my, if I have a theme there, people will not have to go through the difficult of downloading theme, installing theme. They can just down, install it in their WordPress.com site easily. But when I tried to apply, I went to join our space and it was closed. OK, you cannot join. I cannot submit theme to WordPress.com. 
Then I remember in 2012 and 13, uh, Philip Otomo uh, from Automatic, he already resigned. He came, he was there, he asked me like, would you like to submit theme in WordPress talk? He had sent me email about that and, and I used that email, but he's no longer, but I used the network that I had in WordPress, WordCamp US and uh, Dev, with David and I talked like, Philip asked me to submit theme a long time back but now you are closed, so can I get inside? So I just replied the same thread, but with the new email address. So look, this is what happened previously, but can I get inside? He said like, but it's closed now. And I said, okay, it's closed, and it's fine. Then I went to WordCamp US uh, in 2016. Um, uh, so WordCamp US, and then I talked with him personally. We were, we were both speakers at that time. So we had a speaker dinner party, and that was great. So I, I, I went to talk with him so personally and all those things. And he said like, okay, you guys are doing really good. You just need your design to be really cleaned up for WordPress.com. If you have really good design cleanup, I think you'll definitely uh, come into our marketplace. And I said, can you recommend me the designer, please? And he said, oh, I have one designer in my mind. I will teach you. And okay, okay, I said that. And he let us send me a designer name, and that happens to be one of my friend's friend. And then I talked with him. He initially said no to me, but then afterwards I convinced him to say yes, and that's how we land up in WordPress.com. And it's one of the uh, uh, top themes in WordPress.com right now, the Verity theme. Uh, and that's how we can always use the power of community. I think if, you, if I was just using the management style, I think I would not have been landed in WordPress.com right now. But I used the community and the community power, even though it was closed, I was able to get inside. So that's again. The same with the theme forest thing. Um, it, it was difficult for me because like, they had own requirements and um, tricky. But then I had my friends, Emil and Stefan, all those uh, people. Um, so I told them, what, what do I need to submit a theme? So these are the things you need to copy on it. Your design has to be unique. Your, all the coding standards, you know it. So I, I just did it and I submitted there. But um, Theme Forest, I'm not that lucky enough because what I found is Theme Forest is more focused on like uh, multi-purpose theme, not on like niche theme that we focus. We are niche theme focused. We are like centric, like only for music or portfolio or like that. But uh, Theme Forest is more of a multi-purpose with a visual composer and all. We didn't have that, so we didn't get quite success in Theme Forest. And, uh, and again, uh, Mojo Marketplace, uh, that happened like uh, last year, uh, I went to WordCamp Europe and I met them in uh, Sponsor Boot. I talked with them, what, are, what do you do? Like, and then they said, like, we have a good marketplace. We uh, would like you to join if you want. And I said, yes, when, uh, could, would you give me like, any, anything special? And they said, yes, sure, I will send you the special email for that. And I joined that as well. So uh, in this year, we joined three new marketplace. Um, but the successful one right now we have is WordPress.com and our own theme site. So this is all we did uh, just, just following the community way. So again, um, that's why I always uh, call this the community way, the smartest way uh, we can use. Right now, if I had to start a WordPress theme business, um, if I had all the money and if I had everything to invest on it, I would use the mixed approach because like, I faced so many difficulties doing just the community approach. I was like constantly uh, intense mode, and, but constantly in exploration mode. But uh, if you say me like which, which strategy you will use right now, then I will use the mixed stuff. But I prefer more of a community and then again, mixed of uh, management way so that we are more prepared and more uh, have a well diverse, scalable uh, marketplace. So it's, uh, Theme Palace is more scalable because uh, we invested in that. We, we already know what's going to be good, which software to use it. Um, we use um, Easy Digital Download for that because we are just selling digital products. So why do I need WooCommerce for that? We are not selling it uh, products, uh, I'm like physical products. So we just try to focus on niche plugins and then we, we only added the plugins that were needed and also the server, we were like very optimized. We already optimized and it's been really good. 
and uh, I'm paying the double the um, uh, theme balance is paying for the server. So that's how, uh, if you know, if you are prepared beforehand, then you can actually save your time and save your money. Um, so this, these are the both ways that you can do it. Um, the key to success for all these um, ways was just, uh, just, just my passion. It's like I always love what I wanted to do. It I, I always love plugins and themes. So I always do that, and that's why uh, it gave me success. And I never give up when there was server down or like when there is um, uh, when there's someone said no, we are closed. I never say okay, shit, I, I will not do it. But whenever people say they are closed or their server cannot support or their themes uh, uh, or the hosting server support sucks, then I always try to contact different other people or, or try to solve it myself. So that's why I keep in persistence and I waited for the time to uh, capture the right movement. So this is how we achieved um, each milestone by milestones. And um, I think uh, this is the really, really good way to start a business, and, and, and also if you are a theme developer, I think you can start with uh, starter themes like Underscore, uh, which is really great, and, um, and the Gutenberg is also coming, so uh, they will have a more support in Underscore as well. So thank you. If you have any questions, uh, you can follow me on uh, Sakinsresta at Twitter handle. If you have any questions, then do let me know. Thank you. Yeah, because like there was a time like 2017, we were having a good time uh, till 2017. Uh, I'm like till 2016, I would say. In the 2017, we started having a problem because uh, uh, WordPress.org also changed their system of like uh, getting a uh, theme live. They made a queue, really um, uh, one theme policies and all those things. Uh, they make strict policies. And um, our major um, traffic was from the WordPress.org. So that was a challenge, and I was lazy at that time, like just building two or three themes and then uh, getting all the monies from that, so I was happy and lazy. <laughs> lazy, so we went down at that time. So we went really, really down, I was like, oh shit, now I need to think about it. So that's where I think about and uh, getting more involved in the community, and that's why I think um, uh, WordPress.com and other marketplace rescued us in that terms and also like because of the wordpress.com we're so strict in design we improved our design we even uh, hired a designer from california and um, um, both uh, the theme the verity in wordpress.com went really well and the free theme that we submit in photography uh, the photography theme which we also have photographed for, both designed by the same guy also went really good and that's that rescued our business totally Yes. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we have to make a lot of changes, uh, but uh, but Gutenberg is slowly adapting to it. Uh, uh, they said that uh, it's not gonna break your theme, but we'll have to add um, support for the CSS and all those things. So it will work in a way, but I don't think uh, if that works, it will work nicely. All the new, the new design that we have done and the new code we have done will definitely work nicer. But I don't think the theme that we have done in 2012 and 13. So we are planning to slowly uh, retire them or recode them. So, so older themes will retire them. For the newer one, we are working with that. Yeah, because I cannot update 100 themes. Uh, that's not possible at all for, for a year. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Team review.co? Yeah, because you said you guys help people get into these marketplaces. Yeah. Is that something that you're looking for? Is additional theme submissions there? 
Yeah, yeah. The people uh, like what they what what usually happens is that people try to submit theme in WordPress dot or uh, dot org or themeforest or dot com, and they get rejected. Uh, they get rejected. That's why, and they came to us mostly. And we both and Justin Tadlock is very very uh, good person. He knows very detailed, and I also have lots of experience. Ten years of experience in theme problem. So we look at which marketplace you are submitting. Suppose you are looking at Theme Forest, and we specially check as per the Theme Forest guidelines and Theme Forest requirements, and we recommend all those things to make you change. Okay, these are the things. We, we use Bitbucket or, or GitHub to post your issues, or if you want markdown, we'll send the markdown of the issues that, that have in your theme. So even we even check the security issues and all those issues. Uh, yeah, you can feel free to go to uh, themereview.co and arrange a review. No, 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 no. It's just like one-time payment. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Close. Yes. Thank you.